uh, sine wave we represent okay for simplicity we represent in the form of cos function so x of t is equal to a cos 2 pi f and t okay so this a is amplitude right and this is frequency of a sine wave now if i have to plot this how i'll plot it this is zero and it will be plotted but on the x-axis i will have time and this is x of t and its maximum amplitude is given by a like this while discussing this a will not appear again and again so it's just an understanding for us that uh, that is a amplitude uh, this is like this we uh, plot our signal very simple now what we are going to do is that we are going to sample this okay we are going to sample it we are going to take an uh, one uh, signal that is a uh, delta t okay it will have value of 1 for t is equal to 0 and it will be 0 elsewhere okay so it will have 0 so how it will look like so this is 0 and this will be amplitude so this is a delta t and this is time we are going to you know shift this uh, delta t and multiply with this x of t uh, we are going to get a points which will be which are uh, treated as samples how we shift this so as this is a sampling so let's consider that we are shifting a signal by uh, by time ts so let's consider that i am shifting this on the positive side so this is zero so when i shift this over here that is at ts becomes delta minus ts and if i shift over here it will become so this is if we, this is 2 ts this become delta t minus 2 ts if i shift on the left side it becomes delta t plus ts here if i shift over here it becomes delta t plus 2 ts this is minus ts this is minus 2 ts okay and this will go on okay so like this i will shift and then i will multiply to this signal i will shift delta ts multiply it it with with x of t and i will add all the multiplications so this uh, operation i'm going to perform so how the sampled signal will look like it will look like something like this so this is zero so this is one this is two this is three okay something like it will start looking and the negative side also it will be like this okay now this is zero sample this is first sample which is at ts this is second sample which is at two ts this is third sample four sample and so on here this is minus one sample which is at minus t ts this is minus two sample which is at minus two ts and so on so like this we are going to get a sampling okay now keep in mind the x-axis will now change from t to n why because we are representing this as in the number this is zero sample this is first sample second sample third sample four and so on and this is minus one minus two so this is in the number so therefore the x-axis will become n the, all this operation if i have to represent in mathematical form how i can represent now this signal i can represent as x of 0 is equal to x of t into delta t right and if i have to represent this my one signal so i how i can represent x of 1 is equal to x of t into delta t minus ts so shifted version of uh, delta t that i had multiplied with x of t so i had shifted that by ts right x of 2 can be written as x of t into delta t minus 2 ts okay if i had to write this signal right this signal how i can write x of minus 1 is equal to 
x of t into delta t plus ts okay so like this i can write a entire signal but what i need is that combine x of n right so what i can do over here is that i can write this in general x of n ts or this can be x of n okay so we can interchange it x of n ts is equal to summation n goes from minus infinity to infinity x of t into delta t minus n this is a simple convolution so how i can write this as x of t convoluted with delta t minus n ts okay so this is my equation for x of n ts okay so now if i take uh, the fourier transform on the both side how it will be represented as x of k is equal to f of x of t now we know the property what is the property property states that property of fourier transform states that a convolution in a time domain is multiplication in frequency domain so f of x of t will be multiplied with fourier of this delta t minus n t s okay so there will be a multiplication so this is from the property of the fourier transform okay what is the fourier transform of this it is very simple it is x of f so that is the fourier transform of the x of t uh, now this is uh, we can apply a property of uh, fourier transform again this is shifting in time okay so time shifting property we can apply over here so entire equation will become as x of f into fs summation n goes from minus infinity to infinity delta f n minus fs so now what i'll do is that i i will take this x of f inside this uh, summation sign as this is f x of f is independent of n there will not be any change on x of f so what it will, what it will become fs into summation n goes from minus infinity to infinity x of f delta f minus n fs okay i can apply another property to this that is a shifting in frequency or frequency shifting property and what i'll get i will get as fs into summation n goes from minus infinity to infinity x of f minus n fs okay and this is my x of k so this entire equation represents my x of k so for simplicity what we are going to do is that instead of uh, from minus infinity to infinity we are going to take it from minus 2 to 2 okay just for simplicity just to understand how this works so my x of k it will look like this fs summation n is equal to minus 2 to 2 x of f minus n fs and if i have to write this how it will be fs into x of f plus 2 fs plus fs x of f plus fs plus fs into x of f plus fs into x of f minus fs plus 
एफ एस एक्स ऑफ एफ माइनस टू एफ एस ना इन दिस वी विल हैव थ्री केसेस ओके द फर्स्ट केस इज वेन एफ एस इज एक्सैक्टली इक्वल टू टू एफ वट इज एफ एफ इज फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ माई सिग्नल सेकेंड केस वेन एफ एस इज लेस देन टू एफ एंड थर्ड केस वेन एफ एस इज ग्रेटर देन थ्री एफ ओके एंड दिस सॉरी दिस नॉट टू थ्री एफ इट इज टू एफ दिस टू केसेस आर वेरी मच इंटरेस्टिंग फाइव टू ड्रॉ अ सिग्नल एफ एस इन टू एक्स एफ दिस ओके सो दिस इज इन द फ्रीक्वेंसी कीप इन माइंड दिस इज इन द फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन ओके दिस इज माइनस एफ बाय टू एंड दिस इज प्लस एफ बाय टू सो टोटल विल बी एफ so it is a good triangle okay so this is x of f so this fs into xf will be represented like this if i to add here fs into x f minus fs okay in this case my fs is equal to twice of my f right so therefore in this case it will become fs into x of minus f so if i to draw this that is it is shifted okay so if it is say uh, here at suppose this is if you consider this as zero so it will be shifted by f okay so it will be shifted like this right so this is minus f by 2 this is plus f by 2 okay this is zero this is fs and this will continue on the left side also so now i have shifted by 1 right shifted by 1 so therefore it is coming over here if i shifted by minus 1 okay it will be something like this this is minus fs okay if i shift by one more because i am taking minus 2 to 2 right so it will be something like this and here also it will come like this no there is no overlapping over here okay it is like this this is minus 2f this is plus 2f and it will look like this right this is entire spectrum okay and this is the first case when fs is actually greater than 2f now here you will understand one more thing if fs that is second case if fs is less than 2f what will happen the gap between these two will reduce and there will be overlapping and how it will look like okay so it will look like this so this is my first this i had written over here okay second will have an overlapping with this third will have overlapping with this so this will be overlapping part okay again there will be overlapping over here okay and this is called as aliasing okay so this aliasing is explained in terms of the in the frequency domain okay so this is an aliasing effect okay so now what nyquist had said that 
to avoid analyzing you should have a sampling frequency fs it should be greater than or equal to twice of the signal frequency okay so this is my nyquist criteria a nyquist rate then there is something called a okay folding frequency a folding frequency is equal to the fs by 2 or the sampling frequency by 2 it gives us a folding frequency okay in the many of the cases what happens is that a folding frequency uh, the sampling frequency is not given so what you need to do uh, you need to have the maximum signal frequency let's call it as that as fm so what you need to do is that you need to calculate a sampling frequency from that which is equal to the sorry this is sampling frequency fs is equal to twice of your fm you need to calculate it okay once you calculate it what you do, need to do is you need to have the a uh, folding frequency as fs by 2 okay keep in mind this is a maximum frequency of a signal